Welcome to the beginning of this video series on uh, Chapter 5, uh, Hands-On Virtual Computing. Uh, chapter 5 and Chapter 6 will be working with Microsoft's family of products. Uh, Hyper-V, um, both, um, well, you can do Hyper-V at the desktop and at the server. Um, the Hyper-V manager really looks the same in both ways. In both places, there are some slight differences between Hyper-V, the way it works on Windows 10, and Hyper-V, the way it works in Windows 2016. Um, I've already done some uh, demo videos about getting Hyper-V working inside, inside a virtualized um, a Windows 10 instance inside VMware Workstation. Um, we're also going to start exploring doing the same thing on Windows Server 2016. Uh, in preparation in Chapter 6 for turning that uh, Hyper-V server into a system center server, integrating it into an Active Directory domain, etc. Um, we're going to talk about the various settings that are available, and we're going to work with virtual machines in Hyper-V in a number of different ways. So, so the, the first thing to do once you get your Server 16 system up and running is install the Hyper-V role. Um, that will, I believe, also put, or bring along uh, file and storage services, but you don't need anything else. You don't need Active Directory. Um, your Hyper-V server, um, and, and you can do this uh, in with either Standard or Data Center Edition. You cannot do this with the Essentials Edition. The Essentials Edition of Server 2016 does not support Hyper-V. Um, we'll cover that, in, uh, we'll, we'll reiterate that point in just a minute. Um, so we're going to work with the Hyper-V Manager, we're going to work with Virtual Machines, we're going to explore a lot of the settings and options, uh, the th kinds of things you can do, create virtual hard drives, add devices to say, say when you, uh, when you build a VM in Hyper-V, it doesn't automatically come with a CD, you have to put one in, um, as opposed to a VMware Workstation, which has a, a CD, uh, a, an optical drive, a virtualized on the VM immediately. Um, so we're in a, I'm going to, uh, the next video, I'm going to start talking about uh, installing Hyper-V. Then we're going to create a VM, um, use Hyper-V Manager, and go on from there. But there are about 13 or 14 videos in the series. Um, I may make reference to demos that I've already made, um, some of which I may st I, I'm still in the process of making. Um, so let's get started and thank you for watching.